Well, interesting one. Uh, I am really rushing right now. And the reason I'm rushing is because there's fog and mist and uh, I wasn't expecting fog and mist. So it's not the, not the uh, time to come to a completely new area of my local forest. But I've literally just jumped in the car and drove down here. Um, it's a spot that I've been looking at for some time. I haven't had a chance to get there. The sun is coming up. It's mid-morning. Uh, I'm really, really surprised this fog came in because I got up 6 a.m. this morning and uh, looked out my window and it was blue sky, clouds and sunshine. And then suddenly this mist and fog has descended, which really took me off guard. So you can probably hear there's some traffic in the background. I've got to pass under actually one of the major principal road axes in Belgium to get to the forest. And then hopefully on the other side, I may just get the tail end of this fog and uh, some nice light. The sun is still low in the sky. Um, we're really at the end of autumn. So the leaves are falling rapidly from the tree. Um, but there's still some nice color. And so I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed. So anyway, come along with me. It's quite an impromptu video and uh, we'll see what I can get. So uh, yeah, completely new spot for me. Um, but I'm heading towards the sunlight. Uh, and um, I know in this direction there's a dip. Actually from the main road I can see some of the trees and the colour. So this is a forest that has mainly beech trees in it. Um, although some interesting younger trees here just behind me, um, which I might come back. There's some dew drops. Well yeah condensation um, it might make for some very interesting compositions but the fog really doesn't do anything there so I'm more interested in going for the big tall trees Right, I may have got lucky here. Um, I may have got two compositions for the price of one in one spot. You can hear in the background um, the noise. That's one of the principal motorways that is actually around, just around Brussels. So there's a lot of traffic here. So there's two potential compositions. You can see one in this frame, just this tree here. You see the golden leaves. So I'm gonna try and go for that in a vertical or portrait orientation and then there's a well i would call it a sapling but it's not but it's, i think there's a not quite sure what tree it is uh, it looks like a silver birch but i might be wrong but there's a, a complete contrast there with a white a white trunk white bark and uh, in the background there's a lot of dark trunks so it looks really nice so i'm going to try and do two vertical compositions here and then behind me there's a really strong cluster of trees uh, the mist is lifting so I'm going to work really quick now um, but I might try and get a composition behind me although it's very Celtic so put that one on pause for a moment but I'm going to get set up and get these images So there I am saying I'll go for vertical. Oh, there's beautiful light coming in now. I'm gonna get that one. So I've actually gone for a panoramic. So I'm shooting on the Fuji GFX50R. And uh, in another video, I'll explain why I have a Fuji. But uh, what I really like is you see here, you've got these golden leaves here. The sun is actually just poking through here. You can see that off frame. A little bit at the top there, you can see. I'm underexposing by one stop. F13, I've got a shutter speed of about 10, uh, one tenth of a second, and I'm at ISO 100. What I like is I have that sapling, or that, that well, it's not a sapling, but that very young tree there with a different uh, colored bark, and then I have these beech trees in the foreground. A Little bit of interest here with some branches, and I've gone for a panoramic. I may just crop in a little bit with the, uh, 
with the lens there because there's a little bit of the foggy sky at the top there which is a distraction I might do that now just tighten in on the shot and lower slightly there we go get that in focus lights coming through again so I'll take another shot so yeah that looks like a very moody autumnal panoramic and I'm using the timer here just in order to remove any camera shake. Given the rush that I was in, I'm really happy with this result. There's a lot to like about this image. The golden beech leaves and the hint of light at the top left of the scene contrast the right side of the frame where I have framed the younger tree between two trunks. There's some sense of order in this image and using the upright trunks has helped create vertical anchors for this wide horizontal panoramic format. So this is the vertical composition uh, that I'm going for and I'm now really going to be pushed for time so I can see the sun coming through, uh, there's plenty of reflection now coming in here, uh, I call it reflection but I can see, and you won't be able to see it on the camera, but I can see here the droplets of water, um, it's absolutely stunning. I'm still getting beautiful colour here, I've just used these two trunks to frame um, and then I've got a little bit of a distraction here at the top right, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. Um, I haven't got any filters with me, I might just try and do something in Photoshop, I might uh, even try a bracket just to underexpose a little bit um, and then blend later. I'm not a Photoshop expert but I can work it out. Um, and I think the fog is going to be gone within the next five minutes so I may have just got two, well just this one composition with two different uh, formats but it's a stunning, stunning scene. I'm not an expert in uh, uh, forest photography by any stretch of the imagination but I'm so happy I found this. Alright, let's see if I can bracket this into the menu. Yeah, so I'm still getting used to the Fuji system um, and uh, it's, it's a beautifully stunning camera to use. It's really a lot of fun. Um, but I've been shooting other brands for many, many years and uh, yeah, there's the bracket. <laughs> so it's not natural for me to just kind of go in and out of the menu and find these things and even some of the buttons on the camera I'm not entirely sure uh, where they are so I'm getting used to it right I've got my shots here I'm gonna just head down here and see if I can get this very moody this very moody uh, beech tree here with the Sun on it and some of the reflection uh, I might try and do a low key This was the first subject that really took my eye when I arrived on the scene, but it wasn't as easy or obvious to photograph as I first envisaged. There is a hint of sky which I feel is a little distracting in the frame, but I'm prepared to live with that. The beech trunks are again spaced well to create a natural frame to the principal subject, and the golden colour on the leaves with the light mist really exudes the autumnal conditions. Okay, so the trees that I was talking about before, which had the, the condensation and the, the moisture and droplets on the branches, I've just shifted my position because the light is coming directly behind it and I'm underexposing by about two stops. It's a punt, it really is a punt. There's a little bit of fog behind um, and so I like the contrast. I just need to be able to get the balance in the shot to be able to get that contrast. 
There's a few kind of golden leaves on there. It's very chaotic behind the principal three trees and I might sort of shift my position a little bit to optimize the composition, but as I said, it's a pump. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I've kind of been running around trying to get this composition and uh, what I like is it's that principal subject that I have with the golden light coming from the top left. So I've got a little bit of a light stream and haze here. These branches have got condensation on. So I've actually gone for a panoramic. I'm just running the Fuji in movie mode so I can insert it into the video. Uh, and I have gone for the panoramic. I was going kind of like about between minus one and minus two of a stop to really emphasize the light that was on these leaves. Try to underexpose this top portion. And I think the result is nice. I, I'm struggling to get a composition here on this side. I'm gonna try one last time now the lights come through because um, it is very chaotic in that in that section here um, but I do like the fact that these branches have got the um, the water droplets on if I had a longer lens I'd be able to kind of isolate that and I think it would work much better uh, with the lens I currently have I think I'm restricted but I'm going to give it a go this third image is an extension of the first image in this vlog by just moving the camera further to the left of the scene of those golden leaves and branches, I've included that soft morning light from a sun sitting low in the sky. And by underexposing, I've managed to create more atmosphere in this composition. If I'm being picky, then I would have preferred that the trunk on the left of the frame be slightly more upright and vertical, but I think I'm being overly critical. So this was the tree that I was looking at from my previous position and here you've got some branches with the light coming behind just this side, whoops, this side down here and you can see the reflection of the water droplets but from this angle a little bit lower it doesn't really work and yeah I think I'm going to head back up and see if I can get another composition because I said this fog's going to be gone within about the next five minutes or so. Okay so I think I've got a composition that I like, again I've gone for the panoramic um, format which I really enjoy using in the in the Fuji camera. Uh, I think it's a ratio 65 by 24 from memory. And you can see I'm squinting because the light's coming down. So let me just get this shot. So I've included some of the branches on the right side here, give it a little bit more colour. This side it's very autumnal, bordering on kind of wintry with this sort of uh, very dark shadow that's being cast by the by the light. So as well as the panoramic, I'm just going to play around with the formats here and see if I can get something that's optimal in terms of the, um, the ratio. Uh, I might go for a 7x6. Um, yeah, I'll see. The light's gorgeous. This resulting image was more by luck than judgement. The light was soft, but the mist was lifting and you can see from the video I was undecided on which format to shoot. I tried a panoramic and it didn't work and there was just too much chaos in the scene. So then I switched to a 3x2 which is shown here and that helped simplify the composition and really emphasise that soft light. But it was when I turned the camera into vertical orientation that the magic really happened. In a vertical orientation, I'm including the leaves on the forest floor and the light is illuminating those fallen leaves and you get a subtle sparkle and glisten of light from the dewdrops that are on the branches. I underexposed to make sure that I emphasize the light in the most important parts of the composition and I'm absolutely overjoyed with the final result. So I think my sort of forest landscapes over here, I think that's done now. 
the lights pretty much sun's up lights pretty much gone uh, it was nice to have that sunlight low in the sky um, and I'm just gonna head out the forest now go back to the uh, area of trees that I saw before and see if I can get one cheeky little shot before I get back to the car I hope you have enjoyed this very impromptu video. Ideally, I would prefer to take my photography at a much slower pace, but sometimes working at speed helps focus the mind. If you've enjoyed the video and to support my small YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified of the next wildlife, landscape and nature video that I post. Thanks for watching and see you at the next one.